Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This is episode 195. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hi, hello. Hi, hello, Noel. Thank you so much for coming. No, well, thank you for having me. Yes, uh, I appreciate you. We're here to talk about Happily Ever After Season 7, Episode 8. You know, some the problem with having three dogs is you think yeah. there's poop everywhere. I, I yeah. feel like I smell phantom poop, but I don't. Sorry. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. No, that was good. <laughs> Everyone was really interested in that. Oh, you know how many people think we're relatable because of things like this? Because you smell poop? You know how many people with kids probably think that? They're like, oh, I God. smell poop and they don't. That's so gross. I can't yeah. wait to never have them. <laughs> um, no, I'm happy to be here with you. I'm happy to be here. If you guys want to hear more of that relatable content, <laughs> go over to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, where you will get millions of bonus episodes, including 90 day fiance, the single life trash talk and our favorite podcast BS where me and all we just, uh, we BS. Yes. So go over there. Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Everything is down in the show notes. If you're listening to us on audio, thank you so much. Please subscribe to our YouTube. And if you're watching us on YouTube and you've had enough, go subscribe to us on audio. Do it. Thank you so much. Also, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, why don't you comment below with your favorite part of the podcast? My favorite part is your makeup right now. Oh my God. Like my favorite part back into focus. Sorry. Really? My yeah. favorite part is your makeup right now. You did a little waterline action for you. Thank yeah. You. I don't know. I feel like I, you know how, like if I move fast, I go out of focus. Yeah. I feel like that happened, but I didn't come back in. Do I look like a blur? Um, I don't know. Maybe cover your camera. Okay. Right. We're going to play hide and seek peekaboo <laughs> and then come back. Peekaboo. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah there I am. There I yeah. am. I like that. I love that for you. Um, <laughs> we're we're gonna jump in the pool with Kim and Usman. Okay, Kim Bali. Okay, so he lies to her and he's like, I'm not nervous about this meeting with my mom. I think it's gonna go swimmingly. Um, I think I think he does what a lot of men do. They like lie because they're mm-hmm. afraid of a woman's reaction. Yeah, it's easier to lie. Get a life. Well, uh, she wants to bring something and she was like, I, um, either a cow or an Entenmann's cake. I would have gone with, what was it? A confetti cake. Is that what you got? A celebration uh, I got, cake? I got Matt a uh, birthday party. Yeah. I think it was just like a birthday party cake or something. Yeah. But it's called like a celebration. Is cake. it? Bring a celebration cake. Bring a celebration cake. You don't have to bring good. a cow. Um, and she told Usman, she doesn't care. She said, quote, if she wants to milk it, cut it open and take all the beef out of it. And then she's like, but I think of every animal as a pet. Okay. But also if she wants to milk it, Mm -hmm. okay. Um, spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. It's a bowl. She also says, uh, Noel, it's a bowl. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a bowl is? Uh, uh, um, no, go ahead. Tell me what you thought. (laughs) Well, cause I'm like, am I wrong? No, I I am wrong. No, I think you're cow. You're absolutely right. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, if she stupid. wants to milk it, it doesn't work like that. Would you milk? What is it? I have nipples. Would you milk <laughs> me, Fokker? <laughs> Good movie. Mm-hmm. If Usman's mom is milking the bowl, that's a then different there's a bigger problem. problem. Yeah. Right. Uh, or you cut it open, you take all the beef out of it, and then you what? Then you and let she, it go well, on she its says merry they way. Could sell the beef out of it. It's like, out what are it. you saying? Okay. Okay. And then she's like, oh, my God, look at that one peeing. And then they show it pee. Why? 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 Are we doing this? Why? I cannot imagine the smell in that pasture. No, I honestly, could you imagine your allergies? That's all I was thinking about. I don't know if I'm allergic to cows. You never felt allergic, like if you go to a petting zoo or a zoo. Right. But there's lots of animals. I don't know about cow particularly. I did spend a lot of time with cows uh, on a cow farm, on a cattle farm. I, and I feel like my eyes would be so itchy. I don't know. I mean, they are outside. They're not usually like I wasn't in the living room with the cows. They're not living room cows. Yeah, they're not living room cows. I will tell you a funny story when I was in West Virginia and we pulled up to um, a former uh, person that I knew's house Mm -hmm. and we get there and there's a bull in front, just right right in front of the house, like on the lawn, eating the grass, the bull. And I was like, hey, can I go pet the bull? And he's like, yeah, yeah, Tracy, pet the bull. Definitely pet the bull. That's a good idea. And I was like, okay. And then he went in the house to go talk to his parents. And I went to go pet the bull. And he was just like bringing his suitcase in. Uh 
and he didn't really pay attention to me. And then I came in like 10 minutes later and his dad was like, what were you doing? And I was like, petting the bull. And he's like, petting the bull. He's like, no, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. I was like, he seemed cool to me. Yeah. (laughs) I pet him. He seemed fine to me. He's like, well, that was a gamble. Last night I was talking about dogs Mm -hmm. with Matt and my mother. And I said, if you want to know how Tracy's going to die, it's from mm-hmm. petting an animal that isn't mm-hmm. supposed to be petted by a mm-hmm. human. I did, I did that. Yeah. I pet a wolf You're going to try to like spoon a kangaroo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I pet a bull. I looked him in the I. Okay. And then the guy was like, I was being sarcastic. And it's like, you have to be more clear with me. Yeah, that's true, though. Also, yeah, but even you- if he said it's going to kill you, you'd be like, Meh. we'll see okay, about that. But also, where do you think I went? You didn't even look for me. I was gone for like a while. Maybe you're eating like a frittata. <laughs> On the lawn. <laughs> we hadn't yeah. even gone inside yet. Yeah, I um that's I funny. A, I have a picture of that bowl. I'll put it in the 90 days. I thought you were gonna say I have a problem. It's like you do. I've seen <laughs> what you pet and it's everything. Oh my god, do you remember when I pet the wolf? No, I, my first thought was you catching the frog in Disney World. Oh I don't well, know why. I went to a wolf sanctuary. Yeah, I'm dying. It, well, well, it wasn't. It actually wasn't a wolf sanctuary. It was um, it was in Quag, and it was the animal uh like rescue center, whatever it was. It was a it was a wildlife um center, and we okay. went there, and they brought some wolves from uh-huh. the wolf reserve upstate, and there was like a few wolves, and they had them on leashes, and they were doing like a presentation with them. So after the presentation. Um, the person that I was with was talking to the woman and she had the wolf on a leash uh-huh. and she wasn't watching. So I started petting the wolf. Of course. And she I looked over me wolf. and she was like, that is not okay. She's like, that is a wild animal. That's not a dog. And I was like, oh, I mean, he seemed okay with it. She's like, yeah, no. I would be more likely to pet a wolf than a bull. They both seem fine to me. Did the wolf growl? No. He loves me. I have a picture of him too. What was his name? Uh, I think it was like Anika or something. Cute. Yeah, I I have a picture of him with his name because then I have like a picture of like a picture of him with it, like his headshot with his name on the bottom. I can't wait for you to post it in the group one day. Yeah, I'll post if it. If you want her to post it, tell us. I will. I'll post it. I'll post the bowl and I'll post. um. Cool. Yeah, I'll post some of my cow friends. I love cow friends. I especially love wolf <laughs> friends. Well, um, I did not milk the bowl. I'll tell you that much. Because you have sense? Uh, question mark. <laughs> All right. So now we meet, we're, we're in this pasture and we meet right. the cow seller and then also the cow owner who's, a, yes, they're two different people. Uh-huh. So this is the agent and the owner. Yes. This is like buying this real This is estate. Tracy and Noel. <laughs> are, are you the owner? Am I the seller? I'm the owner. You're the seller. Yeah, Come on. <laughs> obviously. All right. So now also Kim mentions that she fought in Desert Storm. Um, I would just think that maybe she would be um, smarter in the pasture. I don't know. We always hear about how she fought in Desert Storm, though. This yeah. is a thing that she says a lot. I know. I think I black it out like sometimes like I black out. But the thing listen. is, I forget. Yeah, me that too. She was, you know, in the service. Uh, it, in the service. I was going to say, I don't know why I was going to say in the army, but I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's right either. Yeah. There's no, and there's actually no way to know. So there is no way to know. And I don't want to misgender. Right. Misgender the military. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so <laughs> she needs his mom to like her. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's called never gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why it's never gonna happen. This is number why? one. Uh-huh. So they're outside, and he's gonna put say her, it, say her, it, her head covering on. But he puts it on, and it's it's like a headband kind of, mm-hmm. and her whole the front of her hair is not covered, right? But um, and then Kim says something very funny. This what? is a quote. You ready? Mm-hmm. I'm hoping when the cow gets here, they'll see that I'm a good person. <laughs> you know, it makes me so mad because we've seen um, we saw baby girl Lisa do this. We've seen Jenny do this. I think we I don't know about Angela, but I can't remember. No, but Angela it's doesn't like, care to buy a cow. No, not the cow. <laughs> well, buy, buy, buy the cow if the milk is free. <laughs> it's like. Um, they put the head covering on. Yeah, yeah. And then half of their head shows. Okay. Remember Jenny at her wedding? Noelle. Mm-hmm. The head covering is is 
like a few inches I, back, but then they're sitting in the house and it's just off. I know. I can't tell you how infuriated it makes me. It's like, I would be so hyper aware of it. Why can't you just put the head covering on? They can't though. Do you These remember? These women can't do it. Okay. Do you remember Avery? Is that her name? The one who married the dentist from Syria? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They live in Dubai now, I think. Okay. Do you remember when she got married and her mom came and her mom would not put the head covering yes. on? She was like using it as a shawl. Yeah. yeah. It was terrible. This is how baby girl Lisa was though. She would mm-hmm. have it like over her ponytail. Yes. It's like, Good. guys, mm-hmm. focus. So um, all of them are smirking. Because they think it's a joke. I know. Like, what's well, happening? It is. Also, she brought two gift bags and they were one of them she did one of them was the color of last season yes it was Uh and one of them was my other favorite color the pink yeah yeah i wonder what they were but why didn't you guys tell us what they were well he did say um he was like mom she brought a bracelet for you yeah but i want to like yeah we want to know yeah so now the women are like smirking at her and he's telling the story about why they're there and he goes quote she fell in love with me for a very long time what does she think when she watches this? Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't think. I mean, she must not. It's like, I wonder. I always wonder, like, who's still together? Like, right. I wonder, are these two still together? She posts like they are. I don't I know. I guess. I don't know. Well, <laughs> his mom's like, um, he said that. And he also says that they love each other. And they're like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, sure. And his mom's like, yeah, we've done this before, though. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. Right. Can, we, can you get out of my house? Because come on. And uh, his brother goes, quote, I don't know why Usman likes this type of woman. What's that type? Old? So now. Unfruitable? (laughs) Unfruitable. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. I'm feeling very silly tonight. You're very silly. Uh... Okay, so now the doorbell (laughs) rings. And who is it? None other but Mr. Bull. (laughs) <laughs> and his cow seller and cow owner. Yeah, everyone. The whole party's there. <laughs> they had to sign the paperwork. They came over for Tang. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then his, mo- his mother made me laugh so hard. Why? She goes, may God take that woman away from us. <laughs> and then she- I like that she's like, uh, not I don't like what she's like, but she's like, she was 18 when, when he was born. Like, she could be a parent. And yeah. it's like, well, I guess you could I don't be a parent. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. I, I don't like, though, that they think it's a bribe. I don't think that she was using the bull as a bribe. I think she was trying to. Yeah, I think she was bringing right an Entenmann's cake. Right. Yeah. When you bring a yeah, Entenmann's bull. <laughs> Entenmann's bull. <laughs> Delicious. I wonder what the flavor is. She should have gone to the bull bakery, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the flavors of the bull okay. bakery are. Unpasteurized. I would think if this was an Entenmann's bull, it would be a pecan ring. A pecan, right? That's no, no, it's a day. pecan. I know, really. We talked yeah. about that on uh, BS yes. as well. So, guys, go over at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Pecan, right? I don't think I've ever had a pecan ring. That's the best one. I've also never eaten those. It's like a Danish cr- ring. Ringles. Yeah. Isn't that what that is in Trader Joe's? Those like Kringle things that or I've never actually seen them in Trader Joe's because they're not in a clear package. Oh, they're not in a clear package, but everybody's obsessed with them. There's and no I way feel to know, like though. I feel like they look like a soft pretzel, but stuff. They're like a Kringle Danish. Danish. I guess one day we'll find out. I, I'll never be able to eat it. It's not gluten free. Well, Trader Joe's is about to discontinue them. I, it's not going to change my life. I'm going to have to buy one. Buy one. Do it. I know it's not going to change your life because you're gluten free. <laughs> I'm gluten free. You're gluten free. I didn't know that about you. Well, now you know. Mm-hmm. So I, would t- I told Matt real quick. I told him about your blood sugar dropping in Erskine Street the other day. He's like, <laughs> he's like, why didn't she get a... Why didn't she get like like a bagel? I'm like, she's gluten free. He's like, why didn't she get like a sandwich? I'm like, she's gluten free. He's like, why didn't she get she's gluten free? Right. Got it. She's gluten free. Yeah, I can't eat anything. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, she got a string cheese. I got a string cheese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I uh, I left the house. If you guys want to hear that story, you can go over to BS. Yes. But uh, I left the house without eating and then realized as soon as I got out that I was very, very, very hungry. Tracy had a very hard time in Nordstrom. Rack. I did. <laughs> she was unraveling. I was. I was so hungry. Mm-hmm. You guys should um, listen to the story. You guys should definitely listen to it. Moving on to Andre and Libby. Andre. Ellie is making egg waffles. Okay. Well, that's not my cup of. No, she's show. just making regular waffles. I know. She's like, how many eggs? Five? Okay. But also she's like, what? 
Yeah. That's a crazy answer. And what she's an like, idiot. She's too. <laughs> Why are you making her cater? <laughs> Why are you making her cater? Oh, man. So uh, he has his interview uh-huh. at immigration. Um, and he's like, what if they ask us how many times we've had sex? Do I just say none? That well, that's funny. the thing. And then she's like, well, some weeks it's five times. Yeah, no, it's zero. Not. Okay, it's, it's not, not five times. Okay. Shut up. Sure. Um, I like that they match. They're coordinated in colors. They coordinated, but they started fighting over the tie. You could see Andre's explosive personality. He's on a short fuse because he's very nervous about this interview. Yeah, but the, I understand. I would be the same yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think he was wrong for acting like that. And he's also like, shut up and get off of right. me, you know? Yes. Yeah, so now they're coming out of the interview. There's tension. And he says, quote, don't act like somebody's effing dead. (laughs) Also, though, I think that she besides we'll get into the question and stuff, but I think that she was trying to make light of a situation you can't really make light of. Yes. That's like trying to make a joke on the stand in court. Like, I just don't think it's the time. Yeah. So they said they got grilled and they did not get approved on the spot. But I like that. They didn't get approved on the spot, so they think it's a no. I'm sure it's fine. It's not a no. Come it. on. Maybe this is why she had a second kid. Like, I'll prove them really wrong. Nah, I'll I prove doubt this it. is real. He said that she didn't remember the year they met. And she's like, well, what's meet? Meet on the phone? Meet it? And it's like, how? I don't remember how they met. Didn't she say that they met in person? Well, either they met in person when she was on vacation. Right. Or they met on an international dating site. Like, I guess so. I don't remember. Guys, can you remind us? Can you go into the group? I don't remember. I remember. Trash talk had, I remember on, he had the worst hair. Yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah. On Facebook over there or right below in the comments. Just remind us how they met. Tracy, Thank I'll you. show you where it is with her finger. Um, Right below. <laughs> right there. Wow. 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 All done up today. You look so nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. You I, have, I have my home pajamas on. <laughs> so um, she gave the See, wrong I, answer. Also, I want you to know Peggy Sue is attacking the chair that I'm sitting on. She's trying to like bite the She's legs trying to get off. on the podcast. Uh-huh. Can't be on the podcast. You don't even watch the show, Peggy. Yeah, you don't even watch the show, Leggy yeah. Peggy. Stupid. <laughs> So she gave the wrong answer and he's really mad. And now they're going to pretend that they have to move to Moldova. Listen, it's not going to happen, but it's also like, come on, Elizabeth, stop being a moron. I know. You know but then she goes, when did you meet? She goes, uh, she won't know my family. And he goes, great. Right. Because also like your family's probably the one that got us into this to begin with. Right. So he says, great. She's not going to have dementia when she grows <laughs> up. What? I like him so much. He amuses the hell out of me. Well, they are fighting. I fighting, like that fighting. he's like, uh, what do you go? Wait, I think that he said he goes, it's one eight hundred immigration. That's phone number. It's like one eight hundred immigration. That's no. the phone number. Chuck didn't know that though. That's the ICE number. Moving on, okay. I would like to talk about Ed and Liz. I am upset by this. I liked it. This is, you know what? I was here for this. Listen, it's okay. It's just shitty to watch. Like here's the thing the problem is i don't like either one of them but no i don't either that's why i kind of i think it's hard for me to watch her because it's like she's young your worth is yeah yeah yeah. she's a young woman yeah Yeah. so they're fighting and liz gets in a cab basically with like production she gets in the production van right and she said that she threw her quote wedding ring into the grass and it's gone engagement ring engage she's drunk does it bother you when people call their engagement ring a wedding ring yes okay me too Uh uh-huh so she's crying. She's drunk. She said she's over it. And she very confidently with zero shoes walks into the house. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's into it. She doesn't think she's drunk at all. That's the funny part. I That's I mean, that's that's thing. every drunk. Yeah. Yeah. So Ed tells her when she gets home, uh, quote, she was a lesbian that you were in a relationship with. And I feel like you might be reaching. Do you think? Ed is so insecure. Okay. How many times have I broken up with a guy? And I'm like, he makes me want to be a lesbian. Okay. Thank you. But also I don't believe him. I think he likes the turmoil. Oh no, he does. This is all him. This I, is yeah, but I don't, I don't think that he believes what he's saying. I think that he just likes the drama. Oh really? Yeah. See, I think he's so insecure and I think he wants someone he can control like a hundred percent. He wants to break her down. It's he, very sad. Yes. But I don't think he believes this. Regardless, if he does yeah. or he doesn't, he's a jerk. Yes. So um, he said, quote, I want to marry you, but I can't. Okay. okay. She's like, also, where's her daughter? 
I mean, they just don't talk she's about walk- where she she's is. She's walking in the streets like mommy. She is. Uh huh. Mommy? mommy, can I go? Mommy? Mommy. So she said that he used to have sugar babies when they had broken up. Okay. I believe it. Well, uh, he's, and he goes to her, quote, Liz, are you a lesbian? And she goes, I am not attracted to anything but effing D. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Thank I you. Agree. Why couldn't you just say, no? <laughs> no lesbian that would have been good yeah too. no so she said that he doesn't let her hang out with anyone and he's like yeah because they're all trashy and he said that he's really good at judging people because he was in management and his job is to read people give me a break okay listen Ned. God, did you work at like a so wallpaper much. store he did right or something like that he was right a, and were he was you a waiter like at sexually restaurant. harassing everyone yes and weren't you sexually harassing a woman who was crying on tiktok yeah just saying i don't like him i don't like him one bit i whether mm-hmm. he like i said whether he believes her or not he's so mean to her he's not nice so um <laughs> she's pulling out the the low blows she said that he doesn't know how to kiss she's like you're 800 years old and you still don't know how to kiss. I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying to teach you how to kiss. That's a deal breaker right there. Um, And he goes, you call me fat and you tell me I have a small date. That's funny. I mean, is that wrong? And she's like, yeah, you call me fat. And he's like, well, you eat nachos. And he no. and then he says, to her, do you hear how he's talking to her? He goes, well, I'm overweight, too. Yeah. I wrote that down. He said, I'm overweight too. But then later he's like, I never called her fat. Just because you don't call her fat doesn't mean you're not alluding to anything. You are calling her. fat. You're making her. I mean, you're who cares if she eats nachos? Do you think I care what someone eats ever? He sh- and he's like, we could both make better choices. Control yourself. Ed. Control yourself. And she's like, you're no one to call anyone fat. Yep. He this is a clear abusive relationship. It and is not and not as much on her. I think she's react. She's reactive. Well, that's the thing. I don't think she's abusive. I think that no, I think she, she's reactive. I think she has a bit of a drinking problem, but Probably. I think that he's worn her down and he knows how to trigger her and then call her crazy and yes. make her the problem. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So um, Ed said that he gave up all his friends and he also said that she might be gay um, or bisexual. Uh huh. <sighs> he, he she said she has a curfew. Right. But she also does it. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, she's also very young. Yeah. Um, and then he says, I don't want somebody like you. OK, see, that's what that's what really got me. That was so mean. It's like, I don't want someone like you. Like she is there because she wants to be with you. She's like begging to be with you. You know exactly what to say to like really push this girl mm-hmm. down. And also the ring wasn't thirteen thousand dollars. Ed. Also, he's like, you could have sold that and helped your grandparents out financially. You should have pawned the ring for your grandparents. What? And she's like, wait, what? She was like, hold on. I got to sober up for this. Excuse me. Right. You wanted me to get the ring and sell it? What are you now talking about? Now she's got to go get the metal detector out. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to get a grass. fishing hat out. Yeah. Come on. That's a lot. <laughs> well, she said back to him, you're not that attractive, by the way. Liz, you could Stop. do better than that. Stop. You could cut deeper than that. Right. I'm not that things, attractive. I don't think I should say it here. So, but there are things Probably you could not. say, honey. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Moving on to Jenny and Summit. Jenny and Summit. So that honeymoon is ending. And um, what happened, Noah? Okay. From what mm-hmm. I can tell, mm-hmm. she, she she jumped on him in a sexual Kama Sutra way <laughs> that they learned um, in, in a she, cowgirl. Area. I like that she called herself a, she called herself a Kama Sutra posing goddess. <laughs> okay, it made me laugh so hard. She broke his she stomach. Broke his stomach, and he had a navel displacement, which caused loose movement, and his navel is leaking. Okay, I am never sleeping again. You okay. know, the way I don't I think any of this. this is real. You, you know how I so? know. No, I'm going to tell you why. Why? And don't be specific. <laughs> <laughs> don't be health wise specific. I no. can't do with navel movement. I freak <laughs> me out. OK, the reason why I don't think that this is real, because mm-hmm. he said it was fixed because the doctor called someone to pray for him. Right. So I think maybe you just ate a bad clam or something. <laughs> well, literally, you ate a bad clam. <laughs> maybe just an old clam, an old clam. A clam that's just seen better days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're just, trying to shuck the wrong clam. Right. It was just an old chewy clam. Old chewy clam. 
a phlegmy oyster, if you will. Oh, Noel, come on. Noel. <laughs> Noel. What? Someone puts pressure on your abdomen. Here's the, I'm going to faint. Your belly button displaces, I'm starts faint. leaking, and you get loose movement. But but don't worry, Noel. I must some- have a belly button displacement every day, bro. Folks. Noel, huh. is your belly button leaking? Maybe. It, but that's the thing. Is he is it leaking from the outside is what you're telling me? Because you have a bigger problem than <laughs> prayer is going to cure. <laughs> I'm going to say a prayer to St. Jude for you. <laughs> that's not the belly button. Uh, no, Saint that's Bell. not the belly. All right. The novena won't work to St. Jude. We're going <laughs> to no. have to St. Anthony. No, St. Francis. No. no Who are we going to call? Belly, who's, the, <laughs> who's the Kama Sutra belly button saint? <laughs> I, I love that she's a Kama Sutra goddess. This is freaky. I don't maybe like that's it. Who the, maybe that's who they prayed to. Maybe they prayed to Jenny, the Kama Sutra goddess. <laughs> maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's like, I prayed to myself. Uh, and then he calls Jenny fat. Yes, he does. This is the second time he's called Jenny fat. Do, have you noticed last week he a did it change too. in him? Yeah, he's not nice. Yeah, but it's not even that he's not nice. It, it, it's something has changed in him. Like he's he losing thinks- it for her. I'm yeah. telling you, he like ever since he like realized he should be a little more independent. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what happens when you lock somebody down like to, that. He wants to um, he wants to fly the coop. He doesn't want to be home with mommy anymore. He wants to sow his wild oats. He wants to sow the oats. That's he's on TV. He, he thinks wants he's to hot. eat his farina. <laughs> wow. OK. Um. So then he talks about his parents and he's afraid that they're going to cut ties with him. No, they. They already did. I was just laughing. It's like they already cut ties with you every very episode. long time ago. Every episode, you're so not invited. His mother, like, flung herself off a building. <laughs> yeah, like I saw your mother <laughs> laugh about Jenny's arms. She's never gonna respect her. No. You know what I mean? What Come are on. we doing? All right, so whatever. They go to PC Richards. <laughs> they go and- to PC Richards. Yes. <laughs> Jenny <laughs> said that. Um, I can't take it. So they do a flashback of the old house, mm-hmm. which is riddled with garbage on the counters, right? Yes. She's like, yeah, but your mom organized it and put it on the windowsill. But that's where I like to decorate. I know somebody just like that who happens to be in my house mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because that also- person loves to decorate the windowsills, even though their window just looks out into an airplane hanger. That's really funny. But you know what? Puts curtains up and everything. Sure, but guess what? What? Jenny, mm-hmm. why don't you clean something instead of worrying about fancy? That's but she thinks she does. Oh my god, what's wrong with her? Yeah, she really and she's like all the way defensive because in her mind she cleans. I know. Well, she said, "quote I think I clean the house very nicely," and he goes, "Really? Yeah." So now she wants to buy a vacuum, and he's like, "Listen, if you can't work a broom, you can't work a b- vacuum." Okay, but also he's like, um, the broom and the mop are good cardio. That's basically the, the third time in two yeah. episodes he's called her fat. So like, That's, mm. it's so funny because he actually didn't say that exactly, but I wrote that exactly down, just like you. Really? Oh, yeah. that's so funny. Sweeping and mopping is good cardio. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wrote. That's what I wrote. <laughs> he said that he she's failing as a housewife, and she's like, let's just buy the cabinet. Right, and it's I like that there's locks all over the cabinet too. Yeah. Well, Who's gonna loot your tea? <laughs> who's gonna loot your chai yeah the, oh there's a dog fight happening right now oh boy oh. michael vick no they're fighting with each other. oh yeah i guess huh yeah <laughs> okay never mind okay all right uh, we get to talk about angela but like they only filmed four hours of footage they for did. Angela, or like mm-hmm. one hour and they're chopping it up for us you know i think this is the first episode where they've actually shown the entire cast right like every, uh, I don't think we're missing I guess anybody. So. Yeah, but yeah. um, you know what it reminded me of uh when I was watching Angela's thing, I was thinking about a song. Oh, sing it. Tell us. The time is passing so slowly now because this is one hour of footage. Mm-hmm. This is episode seven. Yeah. We've gotten three minutes in. The thing is, like, I'm grateful. Yeah. Because watching this. This is the episode I've always never I've always never liked Angela is how yeah, yeah. I want to word it. Weird though. This is the most. Yeah, like, this, this is-, is where that put me off the most where I'm like, please take her off TLC. Right. Yeah. Um, she needs a keratin treatment, number one. 
needs keratin. She need she needs a lot. She needs better yeah. flippers in her mouth. Right. Now, do you notice though? Okay, so in the scenes, her lips are overfilled, and yes. that's why she's having a trouble talking. Uh-huh. In the interviews, her teeth are too loose, and that's why she's having trouble her teeth talking. Teeth are overfilled. <laughs> <laughs> they've overfilled the teeth. Yeah, she they've 20, over Botox. She has uh 28 teeth on each uh denture. Well, the thing is, it's here to here. Right. Phosphorescent white, but you could have just sprung for the side teeth if you're going all. that far. Do it all. Go to Do hell with all. yourself. Do it all. Chew a steak. Chew a steak. Chew a steak. Oh, man. Do you? <laughs> so she changed the flight to leave that day. Yeah, okay. She sure said she's going to file for divorce and pull the visa. Okay. Sure. So her and her friend go on the elliptical and she's very happy because right. there's a cigarette holder on the elliptical. She loves it. She said that she feels used. She's crying. And uh, her friend says, is uh, Renee is her friend? Renee. Is that her? Mm-hmm. She says, quote, we came here for her to work on her marriage. Mm. No, I think you, you came name? to ransack his car. Yeah. So she puts on her best cruise wear, jumpsuit, halter, backless. Uh, it's a lot thing. And um, she said that she can't show too much of her body because she doesn't want to like turn him on all the way. Oh, he's just going to start jerking it in the middle of the restaurant. Oh, if she who knows shows what's going to happen. Uh huh. So she has a ring on every finger. I like that look. And she's going to go see him again. And he's like, she pulled off my car bonnet bumper. Oh, what? God. I don't even know what that is, but it made me laugh <laughs> so hard. <laughs> he is so mad. He said he's never been this man in his whole life. Angela orders three shots of vodka and a Heineken. Yeah, but it's like, I think the Heineken's for him. I think because so too. she was taking a shot and then like sipping a. I don't know what that was, an energy drink. I don't know what she was doing. Yeah, but- Ew, just shots of vodka. She stands up. Mm-hmm. First of all, she's like, get the waitress over here. Nasty bitch. Right. <laughs> so then she stands up and he's like, can you take a seat? Right. She tells him that he doesn't have a heart. She wants his phone. And he said, no, he's like, I don't want her to break my phone. Yeah. So she's like, put it in my purse. And he's like, OK, fine. He puts it in her purse and keeps her purse. And she's like, give me your phone. And he's like, great. She's still going to break it. And it's kind of like, can we not do this here? Can we just talk here? Something She can't wait to get in that phone. Something's broken in her brain at this point th- well, in this scene, right? Well, is she drunk? The, here's the thing. She is so like overcome with obsession about this Instagram that that's all she cares about. Right. Do you not think that he cleaned out his phone before he went to see you? Do you think, what do you right. think he did? Right. But also like you can't even speak to him unless his phone is in your purse. Like I can't actually believe that she Are you happy him to like see this. him at all? No, but that's the thing. And it's like, you're there to work on your marriage and this is the way you treat him. You're disgusting. It's very strange. Yeah, well, it makes me mad. We're moving on to Shida and Bilal. Speaking of making me mad. <laughs> um, they go to the doctor for her egg results. Uh-huh. Uh, and she, he said that they can only make one frittata. Only one. She said, he said that her reserve is low. Uh, right. And he's like, listen, I have really bad news. Your reserve is low. And also look at my face. Oh, God, don't don't look into that void. He's like, my cheeks are protruding. He, he probably this is where he stores all the, everybody's extra eggs. He's like, do you need some extra? Let's just boop. <laughs> it's shoot it out of my nostril. <laughs> oh, my God, no. So. um, Oh, God, he's upset. She, she said that she, quote, felt like hearing him say I could never have children. OK, here's the thing, though. Why did she not like, does she not realize like you are older you're not old, but you're older. It's not as easy to get pregnant when you're older. Did you not know that? Have her you fam- well, never her been very to fertile. a gynecologist? I don't know. Um, but also I don't know. Right. And that's the thing. And it's also like, okay, well now we're not waiting until we're I'm 40. Now mm-hmm. we have to do this right now. And it's right. like, so and he's, he's like, like wanna... here's what is weird about the doctor, though. He's like, try for six months. And if not, we'll look into egg retrieval and uh, like freezing your egg. Yeah. Sorry. And it's like, you're going to try. And now why wouldn't you start the freezing now? Oh, because he wants to see she, she might be able to get pregnant naturally. That's why. Yeah, I get that. That's what they always say. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like looking at this and it's like, it's also like, girl, it's not the end of the world. He didn't say you can. Right. But also, yeah. like, I don't know. I just feel like we have to as women, we have to take a little bit more control of our bodies. Yeah, of course. And if having children is really important to you, I think that um, 
at a younger age, you should look into your fertility. I should have frozen my eggs when I was younger. And listen, I didn't, Mm -hmm. but it's so crazy because it's not anything that ever crossed my mind because there's not enough education about this. Sure. Well, that's like, I never knew that at, I'm not trying to get pregnant or anything, but it's like, I never knew that at 40 years old, it is so hard to get pregnant. And then your later thirties, like nobody ever told me like, Hey, if you want to have a kid, you should start looking to it earlier in life because it's just going to get more and more difficult. Right. They should tell girls. Yeah, of course they should. Yeah. It's crazy. Of course they should. But I, uh, we, we actually figured out a solution. You and I, what is, uh, (laughs) we should have talked about this on BS. I know. Well, I'm going to lay an egg for you because I'm very uh-huh. young and youthful. Mm-hmm. I'm going to lay the egg. Uh, we're going to get a surrogate. Mm-hmm. So many people involved. There's so many. Mm-hmm. This, it takes a village. It does. Um, someone else is going to carry your child via my egg and Matt's sperm. Yeah. And then you're going to be the mother of my child. That's honestly your dream, I think. Okay. Can I tell you <laughs> that like... Yeah. I know this is like a fake thing that I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm into it. Oh, no, I know. I have to tell you, my mom is too. I am <laughs> so into it. I think it would be so much fun. I can't stop thinking about how annoying I would be to you. Oh, God. And Tracy. to the children. Like, I would I tell the child that I was its real mom. I know. I would tell, I like, even if you didn't tell it, like, right away, I would you break would. the news, like, in a very bad way. Yeah. Like, to traumatize the child. You would. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, come here. I have to tell you a secret. Your mom's not your mom. Yeah, you would love to rat me out. Yeah, yeah. I think that yeah, would be fun. Yeah, you would. Uh, and then I think that um, it would just be like a lot of manipulation. Oh, you think? <laughs> this, this would, like, I don't know. I just feel like this would be like, it would complete us, the yes. whole trinity that is me, you, and Matt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I it think would, that would be fun. It would concrete us together, if you mm-hmm. will. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would like to do this. I would. You would have to. Um, and then I would like threaten to take the child from you. I know you would, but and I would. Like, I'm I mean, really not like up for that. Right, but also like you know, I'm not gonna. Well, he has to fertilize you. No, no, no he doesn't have to <laughs> fertilize me. At no, all. no, he does though. No, he doesn't because I'm not carrying the child. No, but they could retrieve. The uh-huh. baby and no, transfer it. I didn't think you paid attention. This is it's why I didn't cool. know it was that hard to get pregnant at 40. They're gonna transfer the baby. Wouldn't that be fun if I if it could be like, okay, Matt, it's like you it's can like an get arrow pregnant garden. and then we'll shoot it to Sudan, you know? <laughs> it's like the arrow garden that I have, right? You could put the yeah. seedlings in the arrow garden, then you could transfer it to your garden in the oh, backyard. I do that. Transfer to someone else's garden. That would be You're such just a an dream. incubator. I um you could try it. I mean, the I wonder what the would limit. happen. The you never know. Limit. Yeah, I mean, um, if you guys have any modern more technology is getting better, Tracy. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, um, <laughs> I like how modern technology was like, and then you shoot it in <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> you shoot the whole baby head mm-hmm. first, right into Suzanne, right in. Yeah, through her belly button, through her leaking belly button. Oh, <laughs> gross. Her leaky navel. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. All right. Speaking of leaky nav- navels, let's talk about <laughs> Jovi and Yara. I, it's so crazy. Like, I forgot they were even on the show. Right. So he's mm-hmm. leaving um, for work and he wants her to wait for him to go to Europe. And she's like, OK. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. So they filmed them for five minutes. Also, okay. also I would have went anyway. I would have been like, you're at work. I'll be with my mom. I'll wait to do like all the vigilante stuff when you get here. No, but I also feel like she's just so emotional about it that she's not thinking clearly. That's why I would want to be with her. Okay, fine. But I'd be like, you can go now while I go to work. Stay with your mom and the baby. Right. Hang out with your mom. And when you get there, when I get there, then we could vigilante. They're also making this like that she's going to start like living there. Yeah, that was like kind of weird. So she meets with Miss Gwen. Uh huh. She hasn't seen her since she made up on the boat. She wants to be friends with her. So they go painting and crafting. I don't so, know what this was. So there's a choice. It's a stencil that you're putting on like a yeah, canvas I, or something. Yeah, I've never seen this before because it's not like 
a sip and paint right. or whatever. So yeah. you get two choices, either welcome or or this is us. Is that what this is? Okay, I guess. And I don't want either of those. Okay. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. She's basically like Cajun people are like live, laugh, love all over. She's like family, God, love. It's true. You shouldn't have welcome outside of your house. It's bad juju. You're welcoming in anything. And that's really? bad. Yeah, you're welcoming anything that comes by. Wow. Don't do that. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. So she talks about her green card and she's like, well, as long as I come back to the United States three times a year, I can live in Europe. And Miss Gwen is like, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like it. Also, they show on the next episode, she's talking to her mom mm-hmm. about like she wants to go to the Ukraine, like without Jovi. Yeah, I mean, that's weird. I mean, here's the thing. I get it. So if he's going to be at work for a month, go stay with your mom. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but it's like also Gwen should still see the kid and like, I don't know, come home when Jovi's home more than three times a year. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're showing us here. Yeah, I don't know what they're getting at, though. I think they're just trying yeah. to create a story. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that. She's like, like, Miss Gwen, you're selfish. Yeah, I don't think Gwen's being selfish. No, but she was saying that, like, basically, like, don't ever take the baby to see your mom. And she's like, hello. No, I know. I get it. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like this isn't real. No, of course, this is not real. Yeah, this isn't real. I know all. it's not real because I see Yara's Instagram and right. they're very happily. Because Instagram in is real life. No, I know. Yeah, no, that's good. No, we did this, it. We did it. Uh, this has been a marathon and we love you guys and uh, we'll see you next week. But before we go. Mm-hmm. Make sure you follow the podcast at 90 day podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Noelle is keeping up to date on everything. You can follow Noelle at Noe girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You could follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Tracy Carnazzo.com for all of my upcoming stand-up comedy dates and everything podcast related. Give us a five-star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on. And also Noelle has been posting tons of clips from the podcast. Go check them out in every platform that you I'm could... posting them ever everywhere yeah, so they're on go Twitter, comment on them on Instagram. Go like them. Yeah. come on guys make us go viral and we you know what you. if you like them repost them repost them don't be yeah. stupid don't be dumb okay bye bye